Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn and I made this video to help anyone who's struggling to find out if they are an introvert or an extrovert. And honestly, I understand why you struggle, because there are so many stereotypes, so many incorrect, false in, un, and unscientific definitions of introversion. And here I look especially at the Myers-Briggs definition. It is the one that I struggle the most with in the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Introversion is not about liking to be around people or not liking to be around other people. Introversion has nothing to do with uh, being outgoing or being proactive and liking to have things to do. No, introversion has more to do with a value, a preference towards the inner world of thoughts, thoughts, theories, intentions, critical thinking, logic, rationale, and purpose. Introverts are oriented by these questions of who am I? What is logical? What do I know about the world? Or what do I think about the world? So knowing this, introverts draw reason from these experiences. They seek to find out, they seek to get a theory, they seek to get logical awareness of the world, and they seek to make observations and to get knowledge about how things work. And then they seek to use this, test this, prove this, to become this. So introverts can be very outgoing in the pursuit of sharing their theories, testing their theories, testing their observations, sharing their observations, sharing who they are, and stepping into and becoming who they are, putting on the clothes and the actions and the moral conduct and the integrity of the person they want to be and the purpose they think they exist or live to serve. So, an introvert can be very outgoing if they have a strong theory or strong knowledge to back this up. But introverts that lack this will be more reserved and shy. And this is where we have to look at the Big Five. You know, the Big Five has also tried to understand Carl Jung's works, but they ended up abandoning his base definitions. Instead of focusing on whether you value the inner or the outer world, the Big Five simply settled that an extrovert is a person that is outgoing and proactive, where an introvert is a person that is shy or reserved. So here they ended up deciding and focusing on the most stereotypical portrayals of extroverts and introverts, and it makes sense why they do this. The Big Five is focused purely on measuring behavior, and measuring the most simple, the most basic, the most primal of our behavior. Are we doing something or are we not doing something? This is what came to become introversion and extroversion for the big five. But the problem is that we can learn to become more outgoing and we probably should learn to become more outgoing. We should all benefit from being outgoing and from engaging the world and from interacting with the world because the world has a lot to teach us. And here is why I'm on YouTube, why I'm making videos, why I'm out there talking to people. Because I actually want to test my theories, because I actually want to understand, because I actually want to get some kind of uh, closure or insight into what I've been thinking about for such a long time. Yeah, I've spent six years digging into the topic of psychology and personality psychology. And what I came to realize is it's impossible to measure behavior. You can't and shouldn't try to measure behavior. That's just stereotyping. It's so much better to focus on what people value. We all have different preferences. We all have different values. And values tend to remain more or less stable where behavior tends to be always changing from situation to situation. So around certain people, you can find yourself a lot more outgoing. It's easier to share to people that listen to you and that you trust and that you like. And it's harder to share with people that don't speak your language or don't understand you or that question and attack you if you talk and share what you are thinking about. So with all this in mind, with all this said, introverts have, and I would list five core traits. A preference for the inner world means what makes you get up in the morning? What makes you do something? What is it that gives you passion to do something? What is it that makes you feel that I have to do this? You know, an extrovert gets a lot of motive from hanging out with other people. Because of that person said that, I want to do this. Because I heard that, I want to say this. Because I saw that, I want to 
express this you know they get data from the world and then they bounce off that what they hear they bounce off yeah if those people are doing that and if they are doing that then i want to do this you know they get reason from seeing and observing the world around them they focus on observation they focus on experience they focus on patterns they focus on people and they focus on facts and visible data and they prefer this over the inner world you know when an introvert goes into the external world, there is a sense of doubt, you know. Extroverts experience the inner world as a source of doubt and a source of uh, questions and insecurity. Just in the same way introverts tend to experience the outer world as a sense of insecurity and doubt. When you go out into the outer world, there is always a chance that people will disagree with you or people will tell you you're wrong or that uh, you will uh, find out what you thought was incorrect. You might have had a logical reason to believe something, but then when you test it out, you don't get those facts. You know, that it's not based on reality. A totally logical theory can turn out to be completely incorrect. And a completely um, possible theory can turn out to have no basis in the patterns and in what's happening around you. You can have a theory about how something is, but then when you test it out, you end up getting completely different results. So... Here, the introvert can experience a source of frustration, you know, what if I'm wrong, what if this turns out to be true, or that, what if this turns out to be incorrect, and here you have this, you can have, like for me, like I go into myself and I introspect a lot, I analyze myself, and I think about who am I, and I think about what am I meant to be, what am I meant to do, like I'm searching for meaning inside, and that's a uh, very t hallmark quality of an introverted and uh, feeling personality type. And here, I feel often held down by a feeling of being weak. I feel that I'm not strong enough to be this kind of person. Maybe I'm not strong enough. What if I can't be this person? What if I won't survive in the real world being like this? What if uh, my ideals and my what I care about turns out to not work out in reality, you know? There is uh, an experience and awareness of the cold, harsh reality that is very difficult for me as a full-blown idealist you know I have ideals and I have dreams and I have things I wish for and very often I've turned out to be incorrect you know things that I wished would happen often didn't turn out to happen and that's a source of discouragement you know every time you don't get the data or the stats or the facts to back up that you're doing the right thing you can start to doubt what so am I really doing the right thing I mean I feel like I'm doing the right thing I feel like I have this purpose but if I'm not getting the data to back this up and it, then you, and then you become insecure and then you become shy and withdrawn and you feel inclined to pull away and you become more reserved like you s start doubting your actions and you start acting less the more insecure you become the less you act the biggest reason a person is reserved or shy is because they are insecure or because they doubt, you know, they're too critical of themselves or they are too inclined to questioning themselves. They might have things they want to do, but they keep questioning it and hammering it down. Extroverts do this too, you know, extroverts can also shoot themselves down. They can tell themselves, uh, yeah, um, I might be seeing this or I might be experiencing this or this opportunity might be there, but what if it turns out not to lead anywhere? You know, what if it turns out not to get me anywhere? You know, what if uh, I am uh, not being logical enough about this? What if I'm not being rational enough about this? You feel that you need to be more rational about things. You feel that you need to think about it more. You feel that you probably miss something. And that becomes this frustration. Like, what did I miss? Or what if I miss something, you know? And what if it turns out not to be the way I wish it to be? And here's also why we go to our preference to get rationale, you know, we to get a rational reason to do something. We solve and settle this insecurity by figuring out whether we are introverted or extroverted. If you know you're an introvert, then you know that if you ask yourself the right questions, if you get the right theory, if you find out who you are, you will get the strength to act and to do something. And uh, if you can accept the extroverted world as a kind of grounding at hemisphere, you know, a source of grounding, uh, grounding in security, it's kind of what if, but nothing more than that, that's when you grow, you know, you have to accept that, yeah, there are chances that my theories might be false, there are chances that what I believe about myself, what I want to happen, won't happen, 
what I intend might not always be what actually occurs. But there is and has to be an understanding that as an introvert, you can always find a new theory, a new intention, a better intention, a better theory to replace the old one. You can learn from your mistakes and you can move forward. You don't have to dwell on it. You don't have to worry about it. And it shouldn't become an insecurity that holds you down or keeps you from taking important action in your life. It shouldn't keep you from pursuing a new relationship or from hanging out with somebody. As an introvert, you have to free yourself from that shyness, from that reservedness, from that insecurity. And you should work to find ways to address it, to accept that, yeah, I have this insecurity, but I'm still going to take this action because the best way sometimes to find something out is to try it out. And, you know, a lot of people out there seem to believe that I'm an extrovert and they believe an introvert couldn't possibly be outgoing or couldn't possibly do things or couldn't possibly accomplish anything. And here I feel often how limiting people tend to see introverts, how limited our view of introverts are, how small people seem to think we are. Introverts have this tremendous power to become true teachers, you know, teachers that share their thoughts and experiences with the world and make us all a little bit smarter, a little bit wiser, a little bit more insightful. We can prove theories, we can answer hard questions, difficult questions, we can show and be an example of what the world could be, we can become who we want to be and show other people that they should become who they want to be too. You can, we can give people purpose and meaning, you know. That should be our goal, that should be what we eventually draw, draw to ourselves towards, you know. I had years that I spent completely in my own head, hiding from the world. I started up my YouTube channel 1.5 years ago and I took down most of my videos from before then. I would make a video and then I would get insecure and I would take it down. And I would write blogs and then I would get insecure and I would take it down. And I would uh, basically avoid people because I was avoid of, afraid of being judged. And you know, that fear is still there. You know, that insecurity is still there. You know, I can still feel that the outer world is weighing on me and that struggles with finding a job or with... Uh, all kinds of life matters weigh on me and that I feel weak or not strong enough. You know, that's such a common concern or experience for an introverted type. Uh, feeling, uh, feeling like you are struggling to cope in the outer world, feeling like you're struggling to manage everything that's happening around you. I recommend everyone to go inside, find the answers or the questions that you need to get forward, get forward, learn from your mistakes, learn from the failures you have, find new answers, find better questions and find new resolve. That is how you become more outgoing as an introvert and that's also by how you become less insecure and that's also how you become more stable as a person. With that in mind, be yourself, be who you are, respect your boundaries and respect where you are at right now and move from there we look at the improvements that you are making in your personal life even if it's just making a new friend or finding a way out of a bad relationship or finding a way to the people that you can be around be yourself around people that don't drain you of energy people that don't exhaust you people that don't look down on you people that accept you for who you are you know, a lot of people think they are introverts just because they're hanging out with the wrong people. A lot of people think they are introverts simply because they are in an environment they hate. You know, and that's also important to consider. Where do you want to be? What kind of environment do you want to live in? It's not enough to just prefer the outer world. It's not that we can prefer everything that happens in the outer world just because we prefer the outer world. And it's not that we prefer everything that's happening inside just because we prefer the inner world. You know, some things inside of me I find are quite cold and harsh and actually difficult to deal with. So it's also about finding what things inside of you that make you who you are. What things inside of you do you actually value? And everything else is unimportant. Though to some extent it should be unimportant to you. What kind of introvert are you? That's a better question. And what kind of extrovert are you? That's another question. With that in mind, 
feel free to share this video with anybody that has misunderstood introversion or that struggles to find out whether they are introverts. And if you want to support me in this, feel free to leave your comments and to help me develop these definitions or come to my Patreon page and leave a donation. Thank you for being around. Thank you for supporting this project. And thank you for helping me answer these questions. See you guys in the next video.